Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we delve into an extraordinary innovation, the NVIDIA DGX station equipped with the GB300 Chris Blackwell Ultra Super Chip. This is not merely a workstation, it's a compact AI supercomputer designed to sit beneath your desk. With an astounding 20 petaflops of computing power, 784 GB of unified memory and unparalleled networking capabilities, this device is truly a game changer. Whether you are a data scientist, AI researcher or a passionate technology enthusiast, prepare to be amazed, so grab a cup of coffee and sure you'll have liked this video and join us as we unravel the intricate details of this technological marvel. The NVIDIA DGX First Station, commonly referred to as DGX Station, is a specialized desktop system designed by NVIDIA to deliver high-performance computing capabilities tailored for artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning workloads. Unlike traditional computer PCs, the DGX Station is engineered for data scientists, researchers, and developers who require powerful computational resources in a compact, office-friendly form factor, so it brings data-center-grade technology to a desktop environment, eliminating the need for extensive IT infrastructure while providing exceptional performance for AI development. So we will discuss and break down the details of the NVIDIA DGX station. We will see its purpose, key features and technical specification based on the latest iterations, including the recently announced DGX station with the GB300 Grace Blackwell Super Chip. The NVIDIA DGX station is a purpose-built AI supercomputer in a tower workstation format. It is part of NVIDIA's DGX platform, which also includes rack mount servers like the DGX1, DGX A100, and DGX H100. But the DGX station stands out for its desk-side deployment. It, in it integrates cutting-edge NVIDIA's GPU, high-performance CPUs, and advanced memory system, and a fully optimized software stack to accelerate AI workflows such as model training, inter inference, and data analytics. The system is designed to be a plug-and-play, requiring only a standard power outlet, making it ideal for small teams or individual researchers who lack access to a full data center. The DGX station has evolved over multiple generations with each version incorporating NVIDIA's latest GPU architectures and CPU advancement. The most recent iteration announced at NVIDIA GTC 2025 features the GB300 Grace Blackwell Super Chip, positioned as one of the most powerful desktop workstations ever created for AI tasks. This DGX station is targeted at professionals and organizations needing robust AI computing power without the complexity of managing server racks or data center infrastructure and its key use cases include AI model development, which is training and fine-tuning large-scale machine learning models including generative AI models like large language modules. Number two, it will be used for researches like enabling academic and industrial researchers to experiment with AI algorithms and data sets at a higher scale. Number three, data science. Running complex data analytics and simulations with high computational efficiency will be a game changer. Number four, prototyping, prototyping, allowing teams to develop and test AI solution desk side before scaling to larger DGX system or cloud environments. And the number five, edge AI. So deploying AI solutions in environments where data center access is limited, such as offices or remote labs, its quiet operations and compact design make it suitable for office or home use, distinguishing it from noisy power hung crack mount system. The DGX station combines hardware and software optimization to deliver a seamless AI development experience. So here are some standout features with details drawn from the latest version DGX station with GB300 Blackwell Ultra Chip. So the number one high performance GPU. The latest DGX station is powered by NVIDIA's GB300 Blackwell Ultra GPU featuring advanced tensor cores optimized for AI workloads. It can offer up to 20 petaflops of AI performance and making it capable of handling trillions parameter models. Previous models like the DGX Station A100 feature four NVIDIA A100 Tensor Core GPUs with up to 320 GB of GPU memory. Number two, Advanced CPU. It is equipped with NVIDIA Grace CPU, a 72 core ARM-based processor designed for high efficiency and seamless integration with NVIDIA's GPUs. Earlier models used Intel Xeon processors. Number three, Unified Memory. The GB300-based DGX Station boasts up to 784 GB of coherent memory split between 288 GB of HBM3E high bandwidth memory on the GPU and 496 GB of LPDDR5X CPU memory. This large unified memory pool is connected via NVIDIA's NVLink C2C interconnect providing up to 8 terabyte per second of GPU memory bandwidth and enabling fast data transfer between CPU and GPU. Number 4. Networking. This features NVIDIA's Connect 8 Connect X8 Super NIC delivering up to 80 del delivering up to 
800 GB per second of connectivity for linking multiple DGX stations for or integrating with data center networks. Earlier models lacked such high speed networking focusing instead on standalone operations. The number five key feature here is scalability. While a standalone system, it can scale by connecting to other DGX station or larger DGX station for collaborative AI projects. Number six, software stack. This ships with NVIDIA DGX OS, a stable Linux based operating system optimized for AI workloads. This also includes the NVIDIA AI software stacks, for example, CUDAX, NVIDIA AI Enterprise, providing pre-installed tools framework, for example, TensorFlow, PyTorch, and microservices for rapid development. Access to NVIDIA GPU Cloud and GC for containerized AI applications. Number seven, cooling and design. The latest model appears to use air cooling with three 120 mm fans, a shift from the water cooling models like the DGX Station A100, which operated at under 35 dB. Compact tower form factor resembling a traditional PC but with enterprise grade components. Last but not least, expandability. This includes three PCIe 16 slots for additional GPUs or peripherals like GeForce cards, three M.2 slots for SSD, and multiple USB C type ports. The power delivery supports up to 1800 W for the GPU via three 12 volt 2 by 6 connectors alongside standard ATX plus EPS 12 volt connectors. Now let's check out the technical specification for DGX station with GB300 Blackwell Ultra Chip. So here are some details that we have find out from the announcement based on NVIDIA GTC 2025. So let's talk about the GPU. It has one NVIDIA GB300 Blackwell Ultra Chip that has tensor cores with FP4 precision, 288 GB of HB M3E memory, 8 terabyte per second of bandwidth, performance up to 20,000 teraflops FP4, 10,000 teraflops FP8, 5,000 teraflops FP6. Its CPU consists of NVIDIA Gray 72 cores Neoverse version 2 chip and a memory of LPDDR5X 496 GB. The total system memory is coming up to 784 GB that includes unified CPU and uh, GPU memory. NVIDIA Connect X at Super NIC 800 GB per second of networking. 3 M.2 slots SSD capacity actually not specified but this is something the storage. It can expand up to 3 PCIe 16 slots. The, the power rating given here is ATX plus EPS 12 volt for CPU and 3 12 volt 2 by 6 connectors up to 1800 watt for GPU. Cooling is air cooled with 3 120 mm of fan operating system of NVIDIA DGX OS. The connectivity includes multiple USB C type ports, potential audio connectors as well. Please note that the exact storage PSU capacity and additional details are pending for full disclosures from NVIDIA or its partners like ASUS, Dell, HP, Box, Lambda, Lenovo, Supermicro. Or anybody else. If we compare with previous model, the original DGX station from 2017, four NVIDIA Tesla V100 GPUs Volta architecture was used. It has 480 teraflops FP16 and water cooled 256 GB of DDR4 Intel Geon CPU, and it was priced at around 69,000 US dollar. The DGX station A100 consisted of four NVIDIA A100 GPUs. The performance was around 2.5 petaflops 320 GB of CPU GPU memory. It was water cooled and equipped with Intel Geon CPU and it was priced around 99,000, US dollar depending on the configuration. Now the latest DGX station with GB300 2025 is likely to be exceeding 100,000. The DGX station with GB300 2025 is its price is yet to be announced but it's likely going to exceed 100,000 US dollar but these are some my assumption it can also be low as well. So the latest model emphasizes higher performance for GPU unified memory and advanced networking shifting away from from multi GPU design to a single highly optimized super chip. Let's talk about availability and pricing. The DGX station with GB300 Blackwell Ultra was unveiled at GTC 2025 and is slated for release later in 2025 through NVIDIA's partners like Asus, Box, Dell, HP. While pricing hasn't been disclosed, it's expected to be in the five digit range, potentially maybe 50,000 to 100,000 US dollars, reflecting the cost of enterprise grade GPUs, example H100S, SXM cards, and its advanced components. Earlier models like the DGX station A100 ranged from 99,000 to 140. 
$49,000 US dollar providing a benchmark. So why it does matter? The DGX station bridges the gap between consumer workstation and data center servers, democratizing access to AI supercomputing. Its latest iteration with the GB300 Blackwell Ultra pushes the boundaries of desktop performance offering petaflop scale computing in a form factor that fits under a desk. This empowers smaller teams and individuals to tackle cutting-edge AI challenges from generative AI to scientific simulation without relying on cloud services or large-scale infrastructure. In summary, the NVIDIA DGX station is a game-changer for AI development combining unmatched hardware power, a robust software ecosystem, and a user-friendly design. It's not a general-purpose PC but a specialized tool for the future of AI innovation. And that concludes our exploration of the NVIDIA DGX station featuring the powerful GB300 Chris Blackwell Ultra Chip, a desktop powerhouse, a redefining AI workload capabilities with its impressive 20 petaflops of FP4 computing and a groundbreaking 8 terabyte per second HP3 and E memory bandwidth. This is innovation at its peak, tailored for the future. So what are your thoughts? Does this belong in your workspace? I know it's not going to be the cheap. Share your opinion in the comments below and if you find this analysis insightful, be sure to click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications so you are always in the loop of our next deep dive. Thank you for joining us and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.